Hi folks, welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. This is part two of my Arduino servo tutorial series and today I'm going to show you how to supercharge your servo. This video is going to cover three topics. The first is how to use a potentiometer to control a servo. The second is how to use an external power supply, such as this battery, to power a servo. And the third is how to make this servo and potentiometer extra sensitive. Let's take a quick look at the code. Most of it is commented, so I'm not going to go into great detail. The sensor pin equals A0, that's analog pin 0. This is the input pin we'll use to read our potentiometer. Again, we're using the serial monitor. This will let us debug our code and view the potentiometer values on our screen. We're using the map function to translate the potentiometer into servo movement. And finally, we're using the common servo.write function. Let's take a look at the board. The potentiometer has three leads. The left lead is connected via this black jumper wire to Arduino ground. The middle lead is connected via this white jumper wire to analog pin zero. And the right lead is connected via a red jumper wire to five volts on Arduino. The yellow pin on the servo is connected via this yellow jumper cable to digital pin nine. The red pin on the servo is connected via this red jumper cable directly to the battery's positive voltage. The black pin is connected via this blue jumper cable that you can't really see in the video to the ground rail on the breadboard, which is then directly connected via this black jumper wire to the battery's negative terminal. By using an external power supply, the Arduino can support higher current, higher power servo motors. It's necessary, however, to establish a common ground by connecting the battery's ground to the Arduino's ground. I'm doing that here via this orange wire that connects the ground connection from the battery to the ground connection I'm already using for the potentiometer. Let's make sure our potentiometer is working as expected. I'm going to unplug digital pin 9 to disable the servo. We're going to rotate the potentiometer. If we open the serial monitor on our computer, we should see the corresponding values as we rotate the potentiometer. If you noticed in the beginning of this video, a small rotation of the potentiometer resulted in the servo rotating a full 180 degrees. In other words, it acted with much greater sensitivity. We achieved this by tweaking our map function parameters. Traditionally, you would use the full range of the potentiometer's input, in other words, 0 all the way to 1023. To make it more sensitive, simply replace the 1023 with something like 200. This means that rotating the potentiometer approximately one-fifth of its range of motion will result in a full 180 degree movement of the servo. I've reconnected pin 9, and as you can see, Rotating the potentiometer approximately one-fifth of its rotation moves the servo its full 180 degrees. 